we have good news for the folks at home what's up studs and chats today we have eight stories for you we got news about call of duty 2021 season 2 spider-man ps5 xbox and a lot of people were caught in 8k today all right we got some call of duty 2021 leaks that were deleted but we actually caught them with that 8k camera all right i'm ready to show you all of that in this video so let's go for eight likes on the video but coming in at number eight we're hearing that rainbow six quarantine is seemingly renamed rainbow six parasite and day one patch and man it is not as big as something like you know call of duty button warfare right because that game had like 20 billion terabytes so this is still a healthy boy and keep in mind normally the day one updates for call of duties they are like 50 billion gigabytes right but this one is only i mean i i should not be saying only because it's still a healthy boy it comes in at 14.2 gigs and ubisoft has confirmed that they're changing the name of rainbow six quarantine but say the parasite title is just a placeholder and could change i'm not sure how many brain cells they would have lost in order to come up with like a new name right and now they're like well uh, if this name it doesn't bang we're gonna be <laughs> coming up with that new name seriously just release the guy <laughs> game and i know one of you will bring up that game that was i believe came out like last year or something like that by the name of cyberpunk 2077 right so in this regards yes you are right <laughs> but coming in at number seven we have caught a lot of people in 8k ladies and gentlemen and ign they say that tom holland put his foot down and refused to wear a wig for spider-man 3 he was determined to keep nathan drake cool sleep here for the role of Peter Parker and obviously Tom Holland is actually working or he's the actor behind that Uncharted movie right we got the homie Dr. Enibao here we have the homie cronies as well says the uh, best account on Twitter he's spitting facts and right here things got pretty wild because cronies and sadly though I had my 8k camera ran out of battery so I couldn't catch him with that 8k camera but here's the thing I have seen it with my own eyes okay and he did say something like hey Tom Holland is being a female dog then Brandon was like hey how is not wearing a wig being a female dog and in that regards brandon is correct but obviously i love the homie cronies as well and uh, he th 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 he ended up deleting that tweet so uh deleted original field ratio got ratio Ow. Oh! homies are straight up wilding and you see there has been a lot of pointless news there has been a lot of really good news but one thing that you know is not pointless here is our experts okay our experts i love our experts okay these people never stop and that's why i love them but coming in at number six we're actually hearing some good Good, bad news i mean if you're an eggbot guy don't laugh it do be like this sometimes but we're in that ps5 apu breakdown reveals that some zen 2 fpu parts are missing now here's the thing i'm not an astronaut okay just keep that in mind as i go through the story we're hearing that a detailed breakdown shot of the ps5 apu has been posted by twitter user revealing some key features about the console's midi innards the ps5 apu breakdown reveals that some zen 2 fpu parts are actually missing from the console with another user noting that there is no unified cache for the cpu or infinity cache for the gpu now this astronaut has shared a couple of images that you guys can see and really man i don't even know what i'm looking at right if you're an astronaut let me know but a scientist actually came out and says thanks for sharing the lack of the fpu extensions for zen 2 are logical avx2 will kill performance heat frequency anyway and should not be on the cpu again as i have said many times the console has very different needs and cuts are normal this is not a desktop device the imposter of kiana reeves says that but for the love of god think of the cinebench you benchmarks i'm selling my ps5 if it has a score under 4000 yes my morales may have chocolatey good and long rt long range of uh you know ray tracing reflections but what about the uh, seven zip performance and eddie was like hey shocking good rt in spider-man my guy it is mostly ssr not rt if you want to say good rt you will need to play the medium now i know that if you're the eggbog guy you must be booming you were like hey eggbog wins another day right Right? and listen here dude honestly i personally play on the sony ponies i also cry on rtx 3090 as well so to me i look at that i'm like that's just like child play out there people are making a mountain out of the anthill and if you're the xbox guy i mean you know you can play on the xbox with pride right now but coming in at number five call of duty apparently released a season two cinematic trailer today and i gotta be honest yo it looks good but should you let your dogs out should you be hitting but absolutely not because this is just a season two cinematic my g and we already know when the game comes out it's not gonna look that good right when we get the new maps it's not gonna look that good i think you already know but this actually hypes me up this kind of brings me back because recently call of duty has been a snooze fest and this looks good dude i'm just gonna keep a buck 50 you know some days we have bad news and some days we actually have good news and today is just one of those days so definitely special like button, subscribe and all that good stuff and we got a bunch of stuff revealed in this one we actually got a whammon operate 
Vader out here and she do be looking like a snack. You know, when I see beauty, I, I gotta appreciate it. Smash a like button if you agree. We also got the homie Woods with the big fins out here. And we have Death Machine revealed, Galil revealed in this one. Crossbow is revealed. And at the end, we can see that they are headed inside the jungle. This is quote unquote that apocalypse multiplayer map that has been leaked for a while. And apparently that's the apocalypse map. And at number four, I wanna show you this because Modern Warzone says the location of the season two cinematic trailer for Warzone and Black Ops is the golden triangle per the new Activision blog. This is the meeting point of three separate countries, Thailand, Laos, Myanmar. And homie, it comes out on February 25th. I'm gonna be live streaming, so turn those notifications on. Coming in at number three, we also got some Call of Duty 2021 news and we actually caught a lot of stuff in 8K, all right? We had some tweets that were deleted, but we got them in 8K, ladies and gentlemen. So I wanna actually show you this real quick. Now, this one is coming from our gaming leaks and rumors subreddit, all right? So this means that you wanna take this with a grain of salt, but there is a lot of really good information in this one, all right? This year's Call of Duty title may be called Gorilla W. I'm not gonna say this word. I, I said it in my last video and uh, it was uh, no bueno, okay? YouTube no likey that. He says, I'm just marking this as grain of salt, but Tom Henderson, who is a pretty reliable leaker, posted this cryptic tweet of a gorilla and modern warfare. Another leaker who claimed to be a burner account said to me it was about mercenaries being outgunned for support and if this game is using assets from black ops i think it's a jungle set call of duty called gorilla w i don't think it would be set in vietnam as the Viet Cong are too controversial to play as but i do think it could be a spiritual successor to ghost if this is the case then i can't wait to see the trailer in may it's not aw2 or ww3 it's probably call of duty gorilla w surely the homie tom henderson also put a nice picture of a gorilla aka harambe aka gorilla that right and uh gave a lot of people that kick up ptsd with that modern warfare image it really seems like that the next call of duty setting is going to be gorilla w and we're also hearing that it's going to be starting in 1950s and you know what modern warzone actually ended up deleting this tweet but we caught it with the 8k camera and if you if you got twitter hey follow me there what you waiting for follow and subscribe homie and i was like hey 1950 call of duty year or nay and a lot of the homies are saying nay and some people are saying l a very big <laughs> l as well seems like a lot of people are not hitting the spot and even roberto serrano says tweet deleted because modern warzone did end up deleting the tweet now him taking that post down i'm not sure that's kind of sus right like maybe he took it down because the leak is not true or maybe it's just that he doesn't have the confirmation or there might be another reason maybe activision reached out and was like okay man we're gonna get our schlongs involved if you don't stop but mostly all of the leakers are saying this game is gonna be developed by sledgehammer games it's gonna be set around 1950s time so yes it's gonna be a big boom rate call of duty game we're gonna be like going in boomer style but i have to say this i'm not really excited for another call of duty game but 1950s and that's another thing that i'm not really excited for but that korean time period is actually interesting and we have never seen a call of duty game go back to that setting so in this regards it might be actually good i mean uh, let me know your thoughts at number two we're also in that silent hill creator wants to theme his next game around everyday life being shaken and he apparently left the sony pony department and he actually made his own studio and it has been a while. We haven't heard anything about Silent Hill, so I'm not even sure if we're gonna get Silent Hill, my G, but there has been a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors. A lot of leakers are still claiming that that game is still in development, but it might be in early stages. And this man, he apparently left the Sony Pony department and he's working on his next game and says that it will be a horror action adventure title, which is targeting a multi-platform release in 2023. That is a million years away. And at number one, Xbox also has announced a new wireless headset. They have dropped this trailer as well. The homies added me in the situation out here. And the headset does remind me of that Sony Pony times, or I should say, you know, the, the PS4 days uh, when we actually had the PS4 headset. So now we're going to be having the Xbox headset. It's a 100% wireless headset. So what else more do you want, right? And uh, this is for the Xbox out there. So that is good. Hit the subscribe bell. I will keep a chat master like you in the loops. Check out this video on the screen. You're going to get a kick of dopamine and I will see you right there.